Small Farmer Dre back at it. We are out here in our pumpkin patch today, in our you pick patch, and we are finishing off planting our pumpkins. This week we went ahead and transplanted these uh, pumpkins out here, baby plants. We started them. I miscalculated and didn't start enough. So now we are back there direct seeding through plastic using a water wheel transplanter with no water and just the spikes to poke the holes. And hopefully they'll be growing on here in a couple days. The beds are nice and moist. We are ready to go. But uh, I'm going to show you guys that process. Have a few video clips of us planting these. So I'll go ahead and show those first and then the ones of us direct seeding. Busy time of a year here on the farm. We are just ending up with our strawberries, starting on blueberries and blackberries. So they are coming in strong now. Been super busy. We're getting ready for the fall season, of course, like always. Getting ready to tear out our strawberries for the last time. We're gonna pick tomorrow and then tear them out, plant all our flowers for the fall. And then of course, of course, the pumpkins here are for the fall season. So just a really, really busy time. I'm trying to find more time to start filming and just having time to edit all these videos and, and just keep this ball moving. But uh, yeah. We are working hard, hardly working sometimes, but it's part of the part of the business. Transplanting is just like the uh, strawberries. We start the little plugs and seeds. I started those myself. And uh, like I said, it's been a week ago, but they have really grown in one week. These are just barely, just a few leaves on them. And now look at them. Pumpkins grow, 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 grow really, really fast when you have plenty of water. With this plastic and drip, they're gonna be doing some good stuff. So um, these are uh, mostly all mildew variety uh, pumpkins. So we won't have to worry about the mildew part of things. Just kept trying to keep the insects off of them and we shall be good to go. But yeah, everything is looking good. As they are finishing up the last pass there, the last row direct seeding, half the patch is transplanted. Half of this patch is direct seeded. And we also just got done uh, uh, no tilling about five acres of pumpkins across the street where we had pumpkins last year. The plan for this part right here, our playground area is gonna end off. We're gonna expand that up to where the pumpkin patch is. So the pumpkin patch will be part of the playground. So the you pick pumpkin patch will be out here. And across the street, the five acres are growing just for production purposes only. We're going to be harvesting those ourselves and hauling them across the street and decorating the farm. And of course, in the pumpkin yard for sale. But yeah, all kinds of plans and ideas. And um, this is where the corn maze was last year down in the valley. The corn maze is going to be up top of the hill. The strawberries are just right there. That blue thing is the well house. So all we're kind of spending in every part of the corner of the property as much as possible just trying to make everything work so um but yeah hopefully everything runs perfectly everything goes as planned but like always just a lot of hard work and dedication goes into it and one day at a time we'll solve all our problems folks this is gonna be it for today if you guys haven't already go ahead and check out farmer dre supply that's where you're able to find all your greenhouse and gardening needs irrigation supplies fertilizer seeds like always link is down in the description box below this is gonna be it for today's video if you guys haven't already go and hit that subscribe button smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever i do upload a video i want to say thanks for watching up to this point y'all have a good day and we will see you next time